Well, good day, um, model builders, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a look uh, at the 64 Chevy Impala, the Foos version. Obviously, one of the great design, present design legends, doing uh, wonderful builds, Chip Foos. I'm sure you're all familiar with him. And uh, Revell bought that kit out some time. Now, there's a big, the, the Impala kits are, you know, have big tradition coming out with SP kits from the 1960s going over AMT and AMT Ertl, uh, even over Lindbergh and all kind of different uh, versions. Um, then obviously some Revell kits, uh, they started with uh, with the Impala round about. Uh, let's have a look here, 2003. I'm checking scale mates here while I'm talking to you. And uh, yeah, and this kit uh, came out more or less, let me make sure here before I tell you any any nonsense, 2013. Yeah, so it's a, it's a repop of the Impala kits. And I have quite a few of them, I believe, with the 58 right now. And I uh, did a 62. And I love the Impala. I think it's a nice, sleek, straight, beautiful car. And uh, today I'm going to show you what's in the box of this one. So that is still around. This particular one I got from a chap who found out that model car building is not for him. He'd rather stay with military planes. And he uh, got rid of it. Uh, and I paid a fair price for it and I got it. Normally not into the heavy modified stuff, but I like this one. And uh, so let me show you what's in the box. We start as usual with uh, the instruction sheet. Let's go down here so you can have a look. Here you go. Let's move over a little bit. Here we go. Typical Rebel instruction sheet. Nothing uh, to write home about, the color call out as is usual, all the parts, which the descriptions, what the parts actually are, always like that. I like that better than the European Revell and the normal, you know, build your engine. Uh, like Chipfus does it and all the other wonderful instructions. And you even can do it stock if you want to. It has the stock wheels in there as well. But if you buy the chip foos kit, why would you build it stock? You can buy the stock kit for that. There we go. Gives you all the options. Very standard. I'm not going to stay too long on this. And uh, gives you the decals, decal placements at the back. And there you go. That would be the chip foos 64. Impala. What you can inspect in the box is uh, a decal sheet, uh, which looks like this. As you can see, the seat upholstery are decals. There are uh, quite a few of the smaller decals. Let's get a bit closer here. Let's get the light a bit closer here as well. Here we go. Now you can see properly. There you go all kinds of decals over here and you get the beautiful impala dashboard here we go you can see it there and uh, that's actually uh, very nice and it's interesting the seat covers i see it on a lot of the rival impalas i have the 58 as i say i'm building at the moment and it also has the decal seat covers just look at that beautiful pinstriping down here oh yes. it will look very very sweet right then it has tires and it has tires for the build and tires for the box. These are the tires for the build. Obviously the chip uh, foos version has uh, the big wheels. There you go. It gives you an idea of the tread. As it is with Revell compared with AMT for example is the tires are not branded and then you also get if you should try to build the stock version you have the stock tires. There you go. There you go. I see there's a seam which needs a bit of cleaning up in the middle, but otherwise, uh, just the stock tires on the on these kind of rubber tree 
not a huge fan of that, but I hope you can make them look very nice. So that's the tires. And uh, let's have a look at the glass. And I'm not taking this out of the plastic. I, I felt it. It feels nice and thin. It looks clean. It has the lights. I haven't seen red backlights. So um, I'm sure they're in here and you just paint them yourself with um, the transparent paint of your choice. Then we have uh, chrome parts. You have the standard Impala chrome parts, which you get with any 64 Impala from Revell. Looks like this. Um, very nice. Nothing wrong with it. See the grill, uh, which obviously you will like them. Have to, you know, just shade it a bit so it doesn't look like a solid piece of of chrome. There's part of the uh, part of the dashboard. Very nice. And, and all the other parts and then for the Impala edition you get these uh, special parts which are the the rims for the big foos wheels and uh, the headers and other parts for the engine just to you know jazz it up a bit and these parts actually look very nice I mean um, chrome parts of the newer kits actually have come a long way now in the old days it was kind of covered so thick in chrome that you hardly could see any detail and you could see a lot of seams not here huh? it looks very clean looks very sweet and i think they have done a very good job here i like it then we have uh, white starine and we have a huge amount of it there we go bottom pan Part of the dashboard right over here that's the cowling around the fan uh, the shroud around the fan the cooler fan the seats which I've shown you the decals um, the bonnet came off here right so you can see it here in my hand just take that out of the way so the camera can focus here you go nice detail on it and it looks very clean I must say um, you know, the older Revell kits didn't necessarily always look very clean, but this does, you know, there's a bit of cleanup to do here and there, but, uh, you know, looking at the smaller parts, like the steering column right over here, it's actually, there's nothing wrong with that. There. Nothing. The model builder cannot attend to. It actually looks very, very nice. Let's just get to the extra chip foos parts. Uh, you hear part... Uh, suspension parts obviously to get it low um, the wheels which are obviously a lot bigger than the stock wheels and uh, the top of the engine and that uh, obviously will get it low to the bottom oh, and I do apologize they do have the back lights right over here obviously the Impala has this very distinct back section which looks beautiful just uh, adds to its lines with the beautiful uh, backlights over here. So there are transparent red backlights. And let's just uh, fly through the sprues over here. Here you go. Uh, exhaust parts of the engines over here. Let's just once again look at the smaller detail. That looks very clean. That is uh, very, you see, there's a little bit of flashy on the exhaust nothing which you can't take off there's a hobby knife and a little bit of sanding and the console right over there and here we get more to the interior parts and the firewall here is the back seat there's the frame love it when they have an extra frame uh, part of the suspension looks like the rear suspension and that's obviously stock what you see over here I showed you the foos uh, suspension changes which will help you to get this baby low to the ground here we go here's uh, engine parts suspension parts for stock a arms all that kind of stuff uh, alternative front part so that will obviously help you to get this uh, up to 
the spec he wanted. Once again, maybe a good opportunity to have a look at the smaller parts to see how it's popped. That fan looks a bit weird, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to be broken, so that might need some attention. Uh, steering wheel, engine. Well, here you go. Looks all very nice. The lightest flash on there on the A arms. Uh, which can, we'll have cleaned up in a matter of seconds. And here we go. I just showed you was actually not the bonnet, but the uh, the hood from the baggage compartment, the lid of the baggage compartment. There you get the interior. Get an idea of the detail over here. It's very nice. I like it when you can do it up uh, before you glue it together. Always nice. Radiator, valve covers oil pan and then here you have the air filter let's just get a bit closer here get an idea it looks like very clean nice air filter if you want to build the stock version uh, in this particular case with me it will just go into the spare box and we obviously will have the foos version of uh, air filters which i would assume are these small potties which you put on at least three different carburetors and then last but not least, let's have a look at the uh, at the body, which is right over here. Now I'm I'm looking at it here past the camera to see if I can see any major flaws. It's a bit sharp here on the edges, so it uh, will need some tender caring love. But you sandpaper your body anyway before you paint it, so you just go over there, make it nice and smooth without breaking the edge too much, because that's obviously is what defines the Impala are the straight lines. Details looks nice, it doesn't look shabby at all. Apart from this particular line, I can't see any other line which might give us a problem. Yeah, these ones are always a bugger, aren't they? Just, you know, you have the, I guess you have to have them somewhere. They have the ejection ping marks here on the on the ceiling of the car and there are and in this car it's still relatively easy possible some other cars more difficult to get to you know once you fill them to actually <laughs> to actually uh, sand them down yeah always always a bit of a bummer these ones here yeah. but i mean where must you put the ejector pin marks if not there and uh yeah that's that's basically what it looks like and i think it's a beautiful nice kit hot top um, love it, love it, love it. No B arms, so it's all nice and open. Love to have a car like this. I like them a lot. I think they're very sleek. They have a very sleek appearance. And uh, I think they are a piece of art indeed. So here you go. The 64 Chevy Impala. Very, very nice. I can recommend it looks uh, very cleanly popped shouldn't be a problem to put this together um, either in that blue or any other color you choose that's a nice thing with the model builder so you don't need to have a historical exact color scheme of what the Russian army wore in December 1941 so you can do that to your heart's content maybe take into consideration the color of the decals and uh, work from there it has this uh, white silver roof and then the blue beautiful blue body here on the box art now oh, maybe you just want to look here color call out and otherwise just the usual rebel information tells you how long it is eight and a half inches 144 parts and uh, Will, uh, is molded in white. That's it. It gives you an idea of the of the engine inside. Oh, that looks pretty snazzy, doesn't it? So yeah, you can uh, go wild here, and I guess if you're one of those who are even go and and start, you know, hooking up the uh, the distributor to the cylinders, spark plugs. I think that would be a good kit to do it with. Uh, yeah, also, it looks pretty full in here. Not quite sure what engine this has, so I would guess at least.
used a 417 or something bigger even some other big block engine in here which will certainly do up very nicely well here we go 64 Chevy Impala Foos edition from Revolve popped in 2013 still available lots of places and uh, should you consider that I think that's a that's a nice kit to have thanks very much for watching and you guys have a great day cheers